Hello, everybody, and welcome to Pot Squatch Growers. Sorry, I'm just trying to play with the angle here to see if we can get the plants proper colors here. As you can tell, though, the plants are bouncing back very happily. Um, they are not as yellow as they look. It is oddly... The, the camera's just registering the color weird. But anyway, everybody, welcome to the nematode episode. What the fuck's a nematode? Well, a nematode can be beneficial or it could be negative. There's different types of them. We are still struggling with uh, little fungus gnat assholes, so we are going to uh, send in the nematodes. Nematodes are essentially microscopic little worms. What they're going to do is they're going to crawl throughout the soil. They're going to get ingested into the fungus gnat larvae. They're going to be releasing sort of you know toxins out as they move through the actual fungus gnat larvae itself, killing it, and then converting its body into... Uh, basically food for the nematodes so that's good the nematodes we ordered today are the pot poppers organic insect control i bought these off amazon i think i spent maybe about 60 bucks for them so anyway as it goes according to the uh directions <laughs> for every five gallons of soil you are to use one package of the nematodes so one pack here seems to have about one two three, maybe four in there so basically on a 20 gallon here it's going to be four so what we're going to do is we're going to put it around the base of the plant and around the top there and we're going to water it in and keep it hydrated and then they will begin to activate and wake up in the next sort of Three to five days, typically, up to seven days. But then they're going to get to work there and start to fight those uh, little bastard fungus gnats. The fungus gnats aren't too bad right now. But we're going to get in there, though, and uh, keep on fighting the good old fight with those motherfuckers, as it were. But anyway, my friends, um, I'm going to put some nematodes down and then we'll water them in. Uh, but this is a great, all-organic, natural way. It's kind of like a bio-warfare in that we are sending in the agents of chaos, the agents of nematode, little microscopic worms to go protect our weed titty plants and the beautiful little rootlets so they don't get broken. All right, so this is what they look like here, if you were wondering. Little. So we're going to open up these pouches and throw them on there. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw some of these down, and then we'll shoot a clip there while we're watering it in. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to try to get these nematodes. So they kind of almost look uh, oddly like little fish eggs. Those are them there. Not the perlite, obviously, but those little fish egg looking motherfuckers. So I put some at the base of the plant and I've scattered them all around the top there. And we've got our water here. Today's not going to be a full water day. There's already still a decent amount of uh, water still in these plants, so I'm, I'm, I'm not going too heavy on the watering here. Just enough to uh, get our nematodes here rocking and rolling. There we go. There we go. So simply put, we're going to come through now, and we're going to do that to all of these pots there, and then we're going to go in and we're going to treat the uh, smaller pots with the nematodes as well. Uh, we are going to war against those stupid little bastards, and we are attacking them now with biological warfare. Uh, I love how this plant is adapting to the child. Like, look at how thick and nice she's getting there. Loving it. Uh, probably another week or so, and we will remove those bindings. Uh, so we're getting close on that one, my friends. But anyway, everybody, this is What the Fuck's a Nematode episode. We are bringing them in to help us with the fungus gnats. And as you can tell, that'll be great. And then going forward, that'll help us to really maximize uh, our plants, have them not be too stressed out in terms of the flowering that we will be then flipping on or flipping to on the Monday. But anyway, everybody, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you soon. Rock and roll. Thought we were done. Nope, nope, we're not. Anyway, I thought I should show you the sort of the initial uh, setup on our little conversion here. Uh, it, she ain't pretty, but she's functional and she's working, my friends. What we've done, we've taken a double squatch. We've got the one double squatch down here, powering down here. Um, we've got another double squatch up there. With the current shelf, we've got that one. Uh, we've got it just reinforced there. But uh, we've left this open so we can actually have some of that light come down to the bigger plants. So going forward, the plan is going to be that down here will be a lot of the mother plants. We'll do some of the more uh, the initial cloning and rooting up here. Um, veg them out in this space a bit. 
do some vetching on them to a point back here, and then we will hopefully eventually be converting uh, that actual shelf there into a secondary vegging area to get them kind of really rocking. But thanks again, everybody, for tuning in to Pot Squatch Growers. As you can tell, look at those bitches. Wow, we're going to have some weed titties on these things. Wow. Thank you for all your support, everybody. If you'd like to support this channel and like what we do and what we contribute to the community, feel free to check out PotsquatchGrowers.com to buy all of your hats, t-shirts, grinders, rolling papers, Potsquatch Growers swag. You can even, if you really feel the need to, book a video consultation with the Potsquatch himself there. Um, also... If you'd like to grow like Squatch, well, hell, a great way to do that is to check out your very own Squatch lighting systems. The website's back up. The most affordable, reliable, professional-grade tech in the world. And customer service, second to none. But anyway, my friends, thanks for checking that out. The website's back up. Everything's good to go. We're ready to rock. Check that shit out. Tune in Monday for us flipping the flower. Peace and love. Remember, the true grower is the forever student. A true grower is not a, a, well, you know, they take risks, educated risks, but they're not afraid to do so. Be yourself, be true, keep it real, motherfuckers. I'll see you on Monday. Well, we'll do Sunday, uh, the live stream, and then we'll see you then. But we'll see you on Monday as well. All right.